from Kiptipiki State Park, we headed south to North Carolina. Mirrors. The first wonder on our way to North Carolina was the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Thank you. You too. This was the second time for me to go over this bridge. And still, it was a wow experience. In North Carolina, we were going to visit the Outer Banks and then move inland because Jeff had some business meetings in Durham. I was completely mesmerized by the outer banks of North Carolina. Such a beautiful, one must see piece of land. North Carolina's outer banks are a string of barrier islands that begin at the Virginia border and go south for 120 miles to Ocracoke Island. In some areas, you can see both the ocean on one side and intercoastal waters on the other at the same time. And if not, the road is still very picturesque, with sand dunes on the ocean side and beautiful marshes on the other. And I have special feelings for marshes, these emerald seas of grass, full of mysterious life, so nicely described in the novel by Della Owens, where the crawdads sing. We stayed almost in the middle of the outer banks, in a little community called Rodenthe, the northernmost town on Hatteras Island. There were plenty of campgrounds of all sizes in this location. As usually, we picked a small private campground, St. Clair Landing Family Campground. The campground was nothing fancy, but quiet and quaint. And we were lucky again to get the site with the best oceanfront view. Just wait to see the sunset there. So check in and check out is at noon. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's other information on here you might need. We have the showers in, dust and hands, and the women's. We have showers and toilets. You think there's all these cement things? Yes, yes. That's a community fire pit right there. Everybody could use that as a fire pit. And on the right hand yes, side of that yeah. big boat, you carry a steps going down into the water. Uh huh. Okay? That's the beach back there. Okay. You, the window. 
the inconvenient part was the absence of sewer. All sites with sewers were taken by seasonal campers. But our outdoor kitchen had a beautiful water view. Rodanthe is best known for its exceptional oceanfront and soundfront beaches. Guess what was the first thing we did after setting our campsite? Yes, we rushed to the beach. In the evening, sure. we enjoyed we the famous Outer Banks Ocean Sunset right from our campsite. Pizza night tonight. Now it's very comfortable on the ottoman. We're watching the sunset over a beautiful bay after a long walk. Dogs loved the fishing pier near the campground. As I mentioned earlier, Rodanthe area is best known for surfing, kiteboarding, fishing, and all other beach fun. For other activities such as hiking and biking, our favorites, you have to drive, but the drive is beautiful. The longest nearby bike trail that I managed to find was in Nags Head. Well, the trail was side by side with the road. The only view was the Nags Head's real estate. How's your new electric bike? Uh, it works really well. Uh, the only thing I'll say, it's really cheating. Uh, you're getting three times more exercise than I am. It's Woo -hoo! Good for me. But remember, we got these so we can use them for transportation. Yep. And I'm on the lowest setting and I'm pedaling one third the amount you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just really, uh, I think if you were going on a fast setting, we could do 20 miles in no time. Just all along the road. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe there'll be a nice restaurant down here. Neil Lewis Waterfront. This one. What? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. There was a nice restaurant which saved the day.
sit here on it? Oh, I'll sit here. Rodanthi itself does not have many nice restaurants. The one that we tried had very mediocre food, but the few outside tables had a gorgeous view. No, I can see it. I can see how are we. Yeah, uh huh. but there are plenty of nice restaurants in driving proximity. Needless to say, we spent one day on a wild beach with our RV neighbors, John and Nikki. I love wild beaches. Do you like wild beaches or public? I like everything. <laughs> easy. The Outer Banks beaches are stunning. It is miles and miles of sand dunes and pristine coastline. Alka! Bring Marcy! Bring Marcy! Where's Marcy? <laughs> Good girl. What could be better than a big fire with a great company at the end of the beautiful day? Marcy! You wanted to follow me? Yes, she is. I had to come and get her to, to try to get her to come, but she's she's mama's girl. <laughs> He's a boy. He's oh sorry. <laughs> yes, it looks yeah, like a little boy. <laughs> a young male, mama's boy. Mama's boy. <laughs> That's exactly why. Nikki doesn't like it. Cheers. Salute. You still great day. <laughs> yes, great day. Oh, yeah. yeah. We missed the the peak when the sun went down. Yeah, but the sky is still beautiful. It is very yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm with John and Buster. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Life is good. Yeah, life is getting better. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Wait, you forgot to kiss me. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, John and Nikki were leaving the next day. As a farewell present, they sent us a sunrise video they took in the morning of their departure. What else did we do? We tried to visit the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Oh no, Jeff, Lighthouse is closed. It is? <laughs> we came all the way here yeah. and it's closed. Okay. But did a little bit of hiking instead. Let's go. <laughs> Come, baby. <laughs> Took a walk around Roanoke Island for settlement. And uh, this forest has two two of my favorite trees. You know, one of my favorite tree is weeping willow. <laughs> is pine my first? Yeah. Then uh, probably oak second, and weeping willow third. Okay. wandered around Elizabeth's garden. Oh no, we're not going to the pond. No. It was a fun stay. I'm a big fan of the Outer Banks of North Carolina now. I'd love to come back. We camped in the Outer Banks for seven days. 
it was one of the two the longest stays in our trip. And the departure was not exactly smooth. Brakes are dragging. Hey, stop. What's dragging? The rear brakes are dragging. The rear brakes are still locked up. We managed the situation with a little bit of extra sweat and time, but we were back on the road. What's next? Poplar Point Campground at Jordan Lake Recreation Area with an overnight stop at Pierce Trailer Park. If you ever need an overnight pull through, full hookup, easy in and out campground, then you should definitely consider Pierce Mobile Estates and Travel Trailer Park. Very fancy name for what it was. Someone on the review said that this is the field of tobacco. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what state are we in? Yes. They do? I've never seen tobacco fields. <laughs> Chef, have you ever seen tobacco leaves before? I have seen tobacco leaves. And these look like tobacco leaves. Oh, great. Yes, it's all. 
China. They ship a lot of it to China. They, they, yeah. Yes, and they, they, yeah. <laughs> well, they ship everything to China. Yeah, they, Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How do you want to? You want to be on? You want to be a film star? Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah I'm pretty. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> you are pretty. Pretty. Uh, My name is James Pierce. I'm Jeff, and this is Anastasia. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you, Anastasia. <laughs> They left Marcy. They don't want you in. <gasps> what are you going to do, Marcy? Bike into the restaurant. We did not want to unhook the dolly, so biking was the only option to dine out. We were in the middle of a farmland. Imagine our surprise to find the fine dining restaurant. They have a bar, Jeff. Yeah, they do, and they have makers. Ooh. It's time to move on. The next camping destination was uh, Jordan Lake Recreation Area, four nights. Jordan Lake sits uh, in the middle of North Carolina about 30 minutes west of Raleigh or south of Durham. This man-made big reservoir of water is part of the Jordan Lake State Recreation Area. In 600 feet, arrive at 558 Beaver Creek Road on the right. Okay, so when you say, okay, no firearms, no alcohol, and no what? Fireworks. Okay, so are we allowed to drink in our motorhome? Uh, I mean, so, this is no alcohol, so I'm not like for sure to say anything. Okay. Jordan Lake State Recreation Area has several campgrounds with plenty of lakeside sites if you make your reservation early. We stayed in a Poplar Point campground. You know, honey, your radio doesn't do any good unless you turn it on. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. And there's, it says do not enter, so that's not yeah, even so, an option. Yeah, so we are going around. This is the loop I found outside. So we're turning here. Turning here? Yeah, to make a loop. What number are we? 57. We happened to come there during the busiest time, Labor Day weekend. Even then, it was surprisingly quiet because campsites are generously separated among the pine forests.
Mm-hmm. Looks like a beautiful lake. You yeah. see? And all these people, they have like their own access to the water. Yeah, they do. And after the weekend, we were practically alone. So if you love to be alone in nature, this is a great place for that experience. Waska, you're not going down. <laughs> you're not. Good try. You want to go swimming? What a beautiful spot. After Labor Day, the whole campground was empty. Jeff is going to cook his pizza on a fire. How's your day so far, Jeff? Uh, I fixed all Anastasia's problems, got her a new keyboard. I'd have to say, probably pretty good. Pretty good day today. Are you a hunter? Are you a little hunter? You are hunting for ants? We had only three full days in this campground on one of which Jeff had a business meeting in Durham. Therefore, we had little exploration there, just biking and a short visit to the beach. I picked American Tobacco Trail because of its impressive, uninterrupted 22 miles length. Yes, it was pleasant, very shaded, among pine trees, but there was no much to see, at least on the 10 miles part of the trail that we biked. Very boring? No, I think it's beautiful. I mean, uh, to follow me. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm just enjoying it. Um, it's not much exercise, though. I'm on echo, and uh, half the time I'm coasting. And then as soon as I, I pedal, it kicks in, and it's off, like, off you go. Nice trail, huh? Yeah, very nice. You got a restaurant picked out, honey? What? No. No? Okay. Nice place we found. Yes, it is, honey. After swimming in the outer banks of North Carolina, we could hardly call it a beach. For such a big lake, it's awfully small swimming area, right, Jeff? Oh, look at that beach over there. There's probably beaches all over the lake. Very warm water, I said. Look at that swimmer! <gasps> it's so warm! Yeah! 
like a hot dog. What's collapsing? What's collapsing? Oh. <coughs> the wild beach oh. Where's Nala? What Nala is doing? Nala! Were you worried, Marshka? Were you worried that they left? No, Daisy, I want to hunt more. No, I think she wants to have. My pivot point is not far enough. I'm gonna uh, my back tires will go in the ditch if I keep if I turn now. We were heading back to East Coast shoreline, which was too far to make it in one leg. So, overnight stop at Harvey's Host again. We're 5,000 miles on this trip by the time we get home. Right? Mm. Of course, we have now we have a thousand. We have like 1,300. parked in place. As described in the Harvest Host website, it was 30-acre working equestrian estate with a menagerie of animals. Sounded exciting! In one mile, turn right on David Parnell Street. The owners of Parkton Place are Chris and Heather. We did not happen to see Chris, but Heather was there for us. Very lovely, nice lady and full of surprises. I always try, I tell people, you never know how you're gonna touch someone, so make sure it's in a good way. Cobra Utra. I used to be, I, um, Dobra Utra came to me last night after talking to you, so I love how it, it comes back to me a little bit. I always tell the dog, no ulitsa, like to go outside, <laughs> but that's pretty much it. And what animals do you have? We have um, the do five dogs, we have six horses, big horses. Hi, baby.
a mini horse, two miniature donkeys, two miniature cows, a lot miniature longhorn, and a miniature zebu from Eastern Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we have two alpacas, one llama, she's elderly. Yeah, a couple of alpacas. We have three goats now as of last week, three um, Nubian goats. <laughs> Um, we have three pie belly pigs. Are you afraid of piggy? Oh, how grown a mosca! And chickens come and go and one turkey, one rooster, one guinea. Mm -hmm. he, the guinea is the one that looks like a bowling ball and is really loud. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we have barn cats too. Barn what? Cats. Barn they, cats. Yeah, oh. so it's really cool because I can adopt them from a kill shelter uh -huh. and the rescue, if I say I can take five cats, the rescue will pull them from the kill shelter if they're gonna be euthanized and they spay and neuter them for free and then either they'll transport them or mm -hmm. I can go get them and then they just live wild. Mm -hmm. uh, we set food out here and there but they live wild around the property so they're catch the goal is for them to catch mice and rats mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. stuff like I, that. I, I, so that's really fun it's a nice way to save a life and use them but yeah they're pretty much for fun. We bought this place four years ago and I started, we had like two weeks after we bought it, we were hit with flooding and um, hurricane. And at that point I decided to Airbnb it because the insurance adjusters needed a place to stay while they assessed all the destruction. And from there we just kept making it nicer and nicer every day. And then I added the RV spots Mm -hmm. um, and somehow found out about Harvest Host. You can stay, um, we have hookups. We have a few hookups and we're adding hopefully seven. It's just ele electricity, right? Or uh, electricity and water. And water. Yeah, oh, and we yeah. have, um, we're adding seven more along here once the county gets their stuff together. I um, love you guys because you're on vacation or you're life travelers now, you've worked hard, you're, you have nice rigs and you come for a night or two and and enjoy the place and share share your memories with us and it's it's fun this is like a park we love this place Parkton Place was the last stop in North Carolina. We were heading to South Carolina. First campground would be Myrtle Beach. See you there! <laughs>